York gets the 12-4 win over Stevenson in the finale of the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark with Spartans head coach Brandon Childs. Coach, let me start with your freshman goalie, Jack Michael. Look, this was a team effort tonight, but he really seemed to kind of take some of the will out of Stevenson as the game went on as he just came up, come, kept coming up with save after save. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a pretty special kid. Um, he just gets in game mode. Um, he, he just turns it on. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever had anyone like him in the cage. He just... In practice, he'll he'll let someone in, some in, and I'm, I'll think to myself, is that the same kid that played in the game? On you know, and he gets on game days, he just gets in the zone, and he's a competitor, and he our guys love him, you know, and I guess I, I love him too <laughs> <laughs> for good reason, obviously. It was a three-two game at half, and Stevenson, and you know, credit to their goalie as well, Sam Ross, who played quite well in the first half. Their defense battle. What happened in that third quarter? that allowed you guys to find that, that offensive life to start pulling away? Yeah, I mean, their goalie played great. He made 10 saves in the first quarter alone. And um, we had talked going into halftime, do we need to change anything? And we didn't, you know. And we actually took less shots in the second half and scored more goals. And I think our guys just shot better um, and, um, and made a move a little bit. Um, but, uh, but no, we didn't really change anything. We just stuck to it. As I was pacing the sideline, I just kept telling myself, it's 60 minutes, 60 minutes. And if we just kept playing the way we were, eventually those, those shots were going to drop and they started to. I certainly, if, looking at your team, how much does it help when you're bouncing back from a loss against a really good team yesterday to have an effort like this and to know, okay, we're not going to be deflated by something like that? Yeah, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, um, I, I think our, we have a resilient team, and so I, I just, I mean, before we ever even left the locker room yesterday, our guys were ready to go, I thought. Um, and, and we met today, and you could just tell as soon as we met. In fact, someone like they were loose and you know they they were focused but they were loose and they were just just the way that I would have wanted them as soon as we met this morning so and a cool moment there at the end uh, Ames Clark gets a goal against uh, his old buddy his old high school teammate and Sam Ross I can only imagine what that I could see how much the, the sideline was fired up did everybody kind of know about that yeah well I mean there's a little bit behind it that that kid Ames for us is a freshman and he did a lot of hard work this week for us preparing for RIT um, and uh, RIT has kind of a unique skill set and we asked a freshman from Tennessee, not Canada, uh, to, <laughs> to, to be one of those Canadians. And, and he did an outstanding job, and I thought we did a great job defending our IT last night. And I said to the team in the locker room, had we won the game, you know, we'd all have been jumping on Ames. And so it was so great that he got that goal. And, and I'm sure you could tell by the, the sideline the appreciation that our guys have for those kids in practice um, who emulate the other team and, and give us the defensive effort that we get, you know, on game day. Coach, congratulations on a great win, and let's just wrap by, again, this event. You know, what more can you say about coming here year in and year out? Yeah, I mean, I've been here a while now, and I say it every year. We're, we, we're so fortunate because we just get to come and coach and, and play, and there's nothing like it. And um, I was listening to some of the interviews yesterday, and I think it was Coach Webster from Dickinson said just how fun it is. And it, as a coach, it, it just brings you back to being a kid, and it, it's a credit to everyone from – um, just the way the game is announced to being greeted at the gate, stats, just the environment, it just creates such and, – and when you look out there in every single game, every kid is having fun. And that's what we're all about is the student-athlete experience, and Stevenson has it to a T. Um, and we can all learn a lot from it because if we were somehow could emulate this every Saturday – these kids would have the best four years of their lives, and, and you guys provide that for us. So thank you guys so much. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Best of luck moving forward. Yeah, thank you too. He's Coach Brandon Childs. I'm Glenn Clark. This is the Mustang Classic.